Have a seat. Good to see you. Every cargo trip has a story to tell. Coffee is a sensitive commodity, so we really want to keep a close eye through the entire journey. Have the shipment gone pretty well? Were the shocks? I think we need to think smarter about smart data. Raphael, wonderful to meet you today in our digital talks to talk about smart containers. And we're better to talk with you than in this beautiful cafe. Sukafina is one of the leading um, coffee traders. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you do? Sure. Sukafina is a coffee merchant and we are a family company like MSC. I'm a leading logistics and operational efficiency. Our role is to bring coffee from producing countries up to the customer. We need to have coffee delivered at the right time, at the right place, and with the quality preserved. I believe in 2019, Raphael, you, you, you started to pilot uh, smart containers, actually one of the very early adopters, uh, particularly in the coffee trading business. So what were the benefits that you, you were expecting to, to get out of those pilots? Uh, Sukafina has innovation in its DNA. We are entrepreneurs. So I would say, first of all, we wanted to try. Second, there is really a, a bigger vision. Uh, we aim to look at traceability in through the entire coffee supply chain and benefits for the stakeholders. We believe that the data and insights that are really value to be integrated with platforms like Farmer Connect or Cargo or others. So just to explain, these are collaborative data ecosystems for better traceability of commodities. You see, we have more than just a container to deliver. Every cargo trip has a story to tell. They are insights and data we want to leverage. And that's where smart containers come into play. Exactly. And uh, you know, coffee is almost exclusively moved by containers. So trying to understand how IoT devices will uh, make the containers bring more value for coffee supply chain was very important to us. And how's it going so far? Pretty well, and we've shipped thousands of smart containers since we started, especially from Brazil to US or East Africa to Europe. In the context of the current uh, global congestion, having to know where are my containers at any time, that was quite priceless. And Rafael, on top of the real-time geo-tracking of the containers, you know, what else um, what are the other benefits that you saw? The first really was gaining visibility, an autonomous and trustful visibility at any time. Getting to know if my doors were open, were they closed, have the shipment gone pretty well, were the shocks. These are data that we can call. We don't need them all the time, but when we need them, they need to be correct. And so getting notifications when something uh, goes wrong allows you to manage those exceptions uh, for your customers. You nailed it, André. Coffee is a sensitive commodity, so we really want to keep a close eye through the entire journey so that you and I can enjoy your nice coffee right now. So, Raphael, back to the very beginning. Uh, when you started to look at smart containers, did you actually define smart goals for those smart containers? It became very apparent since the very beginning that what we can learn is uh, around the risk management of our goods. And the second thing was really around the cargo visibility and the cargo integrity. These are really the two important things we've learned. I believe in the future, we will probably be able to learn more about carbon emission. That's very interesting. Now tell me, what has been your experience in terms of collaboration and innovation? Working with MSC is extremely easy. We make uh, yearly plans for where we wish to have smart containers explored, and the team is extremely easy and helpful and reactive. Also in terms of debriefing how the IoT devices can support us better, or how the data uh, system can work better, we feel heard and supportive. Yeah, that's, that's MSC's personal touch, and I think Smart containers can provide so much information um, and it's not one size fits all, so we try to um, tailor make uh, the, the solutions for, for our customers. And I would like to add that we are very grateful, uh, meaning in the sense that 
as a customer, it's not a big investment for us to use smart containers. It's really the shipping line who's making the equipment for the fleet with IoT devices. Was it difficult to convince your customers and, and partners? And the reason I ask is because in a recent conversation with um, the CEO of PortBase in Rotterdam, we talked a lot about how uh, you needed to take the time for innovation and that um, in the day-to-day -day operations it was often difficult to find that time. Let me share what I think is key for the buy-in. One, speak with the right people. Mm -hmm. Who will actually benefit the most of gaining this live visibility in their supply chain? Make it easy. For us, it was really easy to make the switch to smart containers for both our receivers and suppliers because they didn't have to change their flow or their process. And third, think about what if you don't do it? There is a lot of data that are going through our ecosystems right now and it's a wasted opportunity not to connect them together. I think we need to think smarter about smart data. And there is a lot of opportunity for our industry going forward around this. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's very insightful, Rafael. And I, I really want to thank you so much for taking the time to participate in this uh, digital talks. Thank you again. Thank you.